What up everybody, it is Rhino, welcome back, Madden 16, franchise mode with our New York football giants, Big Blue Wrecking Crew taking on division rival Washington Redskins, no copyright infringement here, they can be called whatever the hell they want, and I can sell their name, I can put Redskins on a damn t-shirt and sell as much as I want and they can't do nothing about it, but they're 2-0, we're 3-0, Eli Manning, versus RG3. Beckham Jr. versus RG3. Will be uh, RG3's knees hold up? He is throwing under 50% so far through two games, but he has three touchdowns, only one interception. So that is pretty damn good for them. Nice little third and one conversion by good old Alfred Morris, who is two rushes, two yards. So not the best there, but hey, it is what it is. Alfred Morris, you know, he's getting a little bit more than two yards there. So, that's always fun, right? He goes from two rushes for two yards for three for 15. And holy crap, Andre Roberts with an absolute ridiculous catch and run. Bringing it all the way down to the nine-yard line. And, unfortunately, Roberts... Finishes the job. He gets the touchdown. Giving the Redskins a 7 to nothing lead. I don't know who the hell he's pointing at. What the hell he's doing. Zero team celebration. They don't even care. Let Roberts do his thing. RG3 gets laid out by John Beeson, but he's still able to complete the pass. Roberts beat the corner. And they take the lead. But here comes Eli Manning. Now throwing 63%, but he got his one touchdown. Still no in no interceptions, which is great news for Eli. What's not great news for Eli is on third and 13, he goes down. And that forces a three and out. So not only did the Redskins just drive down the field, but they're going right back on offense. They then go three and out, and the Giants are, Giants are having some freaking tough times here. Second quarter, third and 12, Offense just can't get rolling. Donnell with a drop, and that causes another three and out. So the Giants have had two drives as we are into the second quarter. Two drives, two three and outs, and Alfred Morris is just taking no free and prisoners. That is a 11 or 12 yard run. He now has six rushes for 32 yards. He's averaging over five yards a carry. Absolutely ridiculous, but the Giants do get the ball back with just over two and a half minutes to go Eli Manning gets his first completion of the entire football game and Cruz almost gets laid out by his own teammate if you look closely here as it zips you see Cruz is kind of left shoulder and head dip back Randall clips him but he's able to somehow stay up catch the football absolutely ridiculous and now Jennings is getting into the action. As we hit the two minute warning, he finally is above positive yards. Four rushes, one yard. Not a very good average, but that's what we do. Third and inches, he hits Odell Beckham Jr. for what I believe is his first catch of the year. Oh, of the year. That would suck if that was of the year. Of the game. And Eli's rolling now. He started off over two, but now he's kind of rolling. He hits Donnell here, who makes a catch. I don't know how he couldn't make the one earlier but yet he makes that one but whatever it is what it is you can't win them all and they just leave Beckham wide open here so that's a nice little pitch and catch first down and uh Eli has now completed five in a row and will it be even more oh it will because there is a crossing route for Victor Cruz getting the touchdown and you know what that means where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's salsa time, baby. Touchdown, Giants Pride. All right. I don't really say. I don't really know the point of Giants Pride. I didn't realize that was a thing. But apparently it is. As we see, Cruz, he just beats the corner. You weren't catching him. And that brings us to halftime, tied at seven. Jennings gets the ball here. He breaks one tackle. He plows through. He breaks a second tackle. He breaks a third and kind of a fourth. 52 kind of just pushed him. He didn't really... He didn't really try to tackle there, but whatever. You don't want to try and tackle, man. You don't want to try and tackle. It's not my fault. But we go deep, and Donnell just runs a perfect route 
a perfect throw. Eli has now completed seven passes in a row after starting off 0 for 2. And Danelle wide open in the seam. You can't leave Danelle open in the seam. I'm going to hit him all day, every friggin' day. He now has 50 yards. Good old Danelle. And once again, wide open. Well, it wasn't really wide open, but he was cutting in front of this, the defenders. Ten in a row for Eli, by the way. And this drive leads to a full house for Rashad Jennings. Touchdown. He stuffs it in there. He gets the Giants on the board once again. His third game in a row with at least one touching, one touching, one rushing touchdown for Rashad Jennings. Giving the Giants a 14-7 lead. Here comes RG3. Passing it. Passing it. The passion of Deshaun Jackson. That was his first catch of the game in the third freaking quarter. There's Morris. He's gone. No, he's not. He's not gone, but you know. He was close to gone. That brings us to the fourth quarter where things get real. This is the first play of the fourth, qu of the fourth quarter. And Prince of Mukamara! Makes the interception, the former first round draft pick of the New York Giants. Giving the salute, taking the ball, cutting in front of Deshaun Jackson. And he just wants it. It's just flat out. He wants it. Deshaun Jackson did not want it. Prince cut him off. He said, give me that ball, baby. I'm a New Jersey driver. I live in Jersey. I'm taking that ball. I'll cut you off. Second and eight, Rashad Jennings. Busting through, trying to get as many yards as he can. He got a, he got a couple after that break tackle. Break tackle. Broken tackle. He didn't get many, but he got a couple. Jennings, as the Giants are trying to kill the clock here. That's all we're trying to do. Jennings gets a first down. That equals killing the clock, which is always good. I like it. But third and seven, kind of got to throw the ball. And there was a wide open crossing receiver, but Eli is unable to complete it as he felt the pressure. He felt the pressure, he just couldn't do it. Third and five for the Redskins, and that was a big, big completion. They started at the two, and they're under two minutes to go. That is Garcon's first reception of the game. But the Giants, they're holding tight. They're holding tight. Just under a minute and a half to go. Great coverage there on Garcon, not letting him get his second reception of the game. And for some reason, they decide to run on 3rd and 10. What are you doing? What is going on here? I don't get it. But on 4th and 5, obviously they have to go for it. It was 4th and 5 because of a uh, neutral zone infraction on, uh, on me. But Deshaun Jackson, they got the conversion. 2nd and 6. RG3 just has plenty of time. Kind of just lobs it in there. And they make the catch. They're able to get it. Andre Reed making the catch for the Redskins and deep down the seam is Kerrigan he makes the catch all the way down to the six half a minute to go the Giants lead is in danger here and there we go they get a sack 23 seconds to go they are able to sack Robert Griffin the third the penalty was a hold they decide to decline it to make it third down don't give them any extra downs and their hopes and dreams are just shattered as RG3 throws a perfect ball to Pierre Garçon. Dominic Rogers camardi could do nothing. It was just a perfect, perfect pass. Amazing catch. It looks close. It most certainly does look close. And they do review it. I mean, obviously with 19 seconds left, they better freaking review it. He does get the one foot down. He drags the second foot. It is a clear cut good touchdown tying the game at 14 last play of the game the Giants go deep and Cruz makes the catch but it is not deep enough as we head to overtime tied at 14 the Giants win the toss Odell Beckham Jr. is just wide open so the Giants try to methodically work their way down the field to either set up a field goal which would obviously not get them the automatic win it would give the Redskins a chance but they would ideally like a touchdown, get the win. So they're just trying to work their way down. Big third down here. Ruben Randall makes a huge catch with a defender all freaking over him. He is able 
to come up with that ball. Eli Manning is now over 200 yards. Victor Cruz is just an amazing slot receiver. He's so good. He's able to beat his defender, gain some yards, cause a third and one. They don't do anything on that, and for some reason, they go for it on fourth and one. Herm, this is the Herm Edwards moment of the week. What do you think of that? You play to win the game. Thank you, Herm, very much. And later, two plays later, they go for it. They get it. They get the touchdown. Victor Cruz, Eli Manning passes it into the corner. Cruz makes the touchdown catch. And that's it. Just like that, the Giants play to win the game. They do win the game. They move to 3-0 beating their rival, Washington Redskins. And guys, that is where we end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I sure hope you enjoyed. Remember, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you guys want to see more, and I will see you next time. Peace.